What it do, what it do, what it do, 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 do. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, the Hood Alchemist, here bringing you the art of transformation infused with so much flavor and so much culture and so much flavor and, and so much culture and, and so much flavor and, and so much. That's right, I said flavor and culture, y'all. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn your notification bell on, and like this video so you can keep getting more healing and flavorful content. Y'all, I'm here with an impromptu video, okay? So, excuse the noise outside if you hear they're building a house next door. But listen, I have been living in Belize for a year and a half, a little over a year and a half. And the whole time I've been living here, we don't have a car. So it's hard to get some places. It's hard to get some places, okay? Especially when you're trying to really get some stuff. Um, and there is one health food store in the country that I know of, that I know of. There could be others, but there's one specifically that carries like bulk herbs and, and things like that that I know of. And it's called Reamers. And it's in a in a part of the country called Spanish Lookout. And Spanish Lookout is a Mennonite society. Um, Mennonite, you know what a Mennonite is. If you don't know what a Mennonite is, just to give you an imagery, think of like traditional Jewish people or Amish people, like just the way they live or the way like the culture is centered around. So yes, it's Reamer's Health Food Store and Spanish Lookout, but I am working with a pregnant young woman and we needed to pick up some herbs and so I finally got to go because I had a ride, y'all. I mean, I could have got the bus or something, but it really is a journey. And, <sighs> okay, okay. So I'm just gonna show y'all some of the stuff I got. A lot of it is pregnancy center because I'm making medicines for her right now. And, but also a lot of them are just women in womb center because I'm making medicine for myself as well because you know and then i have a few others that i grabbed and i'm gonna go back so if you like this video i'll do another one you know um to just share the trip or share what i got so first things first i got a big bag of stinging nettles stinging nettles nettle leaf nettle leaf if you are a woman you need to drink this. If you're pregnant, you need to drink this. This is safe to drink throughout your whole pregnancy too. So, nettles. It's got all your minerals, all your vitamins. This is a powerhouse herb, okay? Powerhouse. So, I got stinging nettles. I've got corn silk tea. Corn silk tea, which in all honesty, when you husk the corn, you could take the little strangly parts, dry them, corn silk. Or just make a tea out of it straight up from like that. Straight up like that. But I got this corn silk tea. It's good for urinary stuff. It's good for helping you like if you have trouble peeing. Um, a lot of stuff. You can look it up. I'm not about to tell you all the meanings of everything. But I'll give you a little whatever. But corn silk. Gotta have that. And these prices are pretty good too. This was $5 for two ounces. So I'm not complaining. I got some red clover blossom. We are also gonna use this for womb health, womb support. You could use this as a tea. You could steam, yoni steam with this. This is very good for the womb. This is also good for pregnancy. This is safe for pregnancy. I got some hawthorn berries. Hawthorn. This is good for the heart. This is that heart medicine. Strengthen up this muscle, you feel me? Or the heart's not a muscle, is it? Whatever it is, for the heart. Hawthorne bears. I'm gonna make some tinctures, some syrups. I'm gonna make some stuff out of this. <clears throat> then I got some rose hip, but it's powdered. I wish I had got the, the non-powdered, but it's powdered. I ain't complaining, but rose hip. I'm gonna use this. Rose is good. Rose hip is also good for the heart. It's good for nourishing the blood. It's good for a lot of stuff. I said I wasn't gonna tell you everything and I really be able to stop myself because I will. But rose hip is good. Ladies, this is a good herb for you too. Since it's powdered, I'ma just make drinks out of this, make a paste out of it maybe, maybe add it to some cosmetic stuff and or just put it in my smoothies. Put it in my smoothies. Put it in my smoothies. I got two of those. I got some calendula. Calendula. Uh, 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 uh. Calendula. Uh, 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 uh. Calendula. Uh, uh, calendula. This calendula, I'm going to use this in some cosmetic stuff, some oils. I might make me a little perfume out of it, a little. You know, this is good for protection. I might also use this for some magic in my candle work. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. <laughs> 
And then we got fennel seed. Fennel is also good lactating mothers. Also, it's just fennel, so why not? Um, milk thistle. Milk thistle, good for the liver. Liver support, liver support. But it's powdered. I got the powdered milk thistle. Do I have the other one? I also have the seeds. I have the milk thistle seeds as well. Can you see that, the way they look? Bam! Then we got mullen. Mullen. Mullen is good for your lungs. You could roll this up in a smoking blend. Mullen. I'm going to make a tincture out of it. Um, I got some marshmallow root because why not? I got some jasmine tea because why not? They didn't have jasmine flowers, so I got this. I got alfalfa leaf. This is also good for pregnant women. This is going to help you keep that iron up. This is also going to help make it easier to produce milk. Um, so, you know, I'm going to make medicine out of this, make a tea blend to share with my little sis. I also have some motherwort. I have St. John's wort, which is powdered. So we'll probably just put that in some smoothies or stuff. And I have some astragalus powder. Uh, and I also got this little La Bella del Sapo black soap. It's a handmade coconut oil tar soap. And it's recommended for wounds, ulcer, eczema, paralysis, stuff like that. Um, and this was made in Toledo, Belize. But yes, it's the Copal medicinal soap. And I'm going to help use this for some, some, some skin stuff, some wound stuff. But how do you incorporate plant medicine into your life? Drop a comment below. Let me know. Do you have herbs that you work with for medicinal properties, for any other properties? Like what's going on? 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 Anyway, if you like this video, drop a comment, like it, subscribe. And, you know, just stay tuned in for more healing and flavorful content. Love y'all. Until next time. Nazi Drella. Oh. Whoa. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, please let me know. And I can do more content like this for show. If you like this video, please tell me now. Drop a comment below right now, right now. Drop a comment below right now.